the Baltimore Museum of Art at Gertrude's Restaurant, and tonight we'll be honoring 28 of the most influential up-and-coming young leaders in Maryland. People are here with not only their colleagues, but because these are 20-somethings, usually their families are here with them, their parents, um, their spouses. So it's really a mixed crowd and just a level of excitement from everyone. I've never been here, so this is huge. So first off, I love art museums. I'm originally from Philadelphia, so you know, the Rocky Steps. I love the Philly Art Museum. I walk in and see all the cool sculptures and just come in here. And the food's great, the drinks are great. It's so cool to see everyone here and it's fun to get dressed up. I'm having a great time. Really, really good food, uh, some good drinks, and it's just good to like to mingle and to meet other other winners. This event's really great. It's a lot, uh, I live two blocks away from here, and it's never been dressed up like this before, so it's been nice. The 28 individuals we will honor tonight are well on their way to the, being the top of their fields. I feel really fortunate to be part of such a great group of young professionals. I was really touched. Um, it's exciting. I've been here for just over two years now and so to have the name recognition and the opportunity for people to see my name and, and be able to expand my personal brand is just an incredible opportunity. It was a distinct honor last year to be picked as a 20 in their 20s for the daily record and it was fantastic to be able to be a judge this year and the qualifications that I really looked for in terms of judging criteria were folks that had a vested interest in a variety of areas across. The daily record is a great newspaper and uh, to be chosen by a publication like that it's, it's just an honor and it's a humbling experience to be here. First, I would like to thank the Daily Record and allow me to represent them, but Johns Hopkins for supporting me. They have allowed me to not only be exposed to such a great community and organization, but to want to give more to that organization and the community. Well, Hopkins has been great to support all of their staff or faculty who have won awards. It's great to show people that are still there what they can achieve or aspire to achieve and that their company is going to be behind them. We've always wanted to make a big impact and contribute, and I feel like it's nice to be recognized that we're trying to push forward and make a difference in the community. Sarah is our assistant director. She's a different kind of exceptional person and she richly, richly deserves this recognition and we have to be here for her. Being a young guy, it's important for us to have uh, everybody else have the recognition that we get and it's good recognition for our company. In my business, I see a lot of people who work in politics, but I don't see people who work in nonprofit world and in finance and all the other great people that we have here tonight, as well as the sponsors and all the other folks. My family came uh, down from New Jersey, folks from the aquarium are here, folks from just have been influential in my career thus far here, so it's a really great experience to have everybody, worlds colliding here supporting me. I'm blessed to know three other people who are on the list, and we're, they're all phenomenal, so I hope that we can stick together and stay in touch and, and continue to do great things for Maryland.